the Brekum West constituency was carved out of the Brekum constituency in 2012. It shares boundaries with Brekum East, Doma East and German South. The constituency has been a safe seat for the MPP since its creation. Three persons are eyeing the seat in this year's election. They include the incumbent Kwaku Ejenim Boatin, Desin Chiredua and legend Derek Obin. The sitting member of parliament and deputy minister of railways, Kwaku Ejenim Boatin, in the 2016 elections defeated his close contender, Desin Chiredua. He had a little over 10,000. Desin Chiredua also had a little over 7,000. The two are facing off in the December polls, the second time in four years. Some constituents have been assessing the performance of the member of parliament, Kwaku Ejenim Boatin. He's the third MP we have had. We had Uswa Champon, we had Captain Krabi Fadate, and he's the third one. But I can boldly say, in fact, he has performed creditably. You can see from your eyes and when you started coming, entering to the town, you see things are not in a good shape. He's not doing anything because 12 years in power, uh, like Dinejini should be like a, a city of very nice shape and other stuff, but nothing is going on. Nothing. The youth are suffering. I think that um, the Honorable, uh, Honorable Kwekwe Jenimboateng, has made a memo of contribution to the progress and development of Brekum West. Um, as an MP, he has touched all the sectors, uh, all the aspects of human life in Brekum West, from education to health to work. Um, in education, we talk about schools that he has helped the communities to have, and not only that, he has also been providing exercise books on academic um, um, year basis. As well, he has also been um, organizing what we call free vacation classes. Even though check compounds are most, you check compound or most, you know, I'm just say check compound back on crow and pursue us even uh, 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 project uh, 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 MP and Parliament But uh, 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 MP team uh, 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 And I'm a broken West Mantia woman. And uh, MP 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 Poor lightning at night in some communities is a major concern of some of the constituents. Lightning, a be water pool bear five, and said, I was about Kumbo, and a and shut down strength, Papa Bia, a socket to where we knew Light in the problem, Wumpa, you do cross one cross, would then be a voice in this country here day, a war. I'm a baby, you do a chrono crab, be a day, a cross one to know, say, in your sweet lines, the baby, be nice, nippa be nice, young was a wabble chrono crana, or not my bed, and be too quiet and a woman. Now, Jenny, I know the oba for light, my dear. Is the young as a Yako of his year, one I met. Now, I'm saying, I say, I'm better chair Bob's blue. Na na kamera here say nka omudi bi beba ho nko afu se ona de asa bo nyina ye su sa kosi ono su nyina ye wura a de asa ya ye to no mo ye ho kire nti senka eh ni moni mu ya no se ampi no tis no betima ye ade possible best be a anko betim de light ne bi akwa nka be ye de the stakes are high in this year's elections the city member of parliament kwakwa jeni mbuatin has been telling City News why he's seeking the mandate of the people to represent them in the next parliament. Uh, we've done a lot for the community. When I say we, I'm talking about the collective administration, uh, the current MPP government. As, as you just, you can see what we are doing here. We are constructing a road from Jamdidi Junction to Kuraso. Uh, there are so many projects that has um, taken place here. We've done so many things for the community. And 
A renewal of mandate is about the contract you have with the people, the expectations they have, what you've been able to achieve, and you're going to be judged. It's about accountable, accountable leadership. It's about what you've done and what you can do for them. It's about the confidence they have in your leadership. And I'm very hopeful and confident that they're going to renew the mandate because we've done so much. Uh, you can look at it in various sectors. We can talk about education, you can talk about agriculture, you can talk about um, health. You can so many sectors that we can go into and talk about them. Of course, today you've met me on the on the construction site. It's a road project that I'm inspecting, and I'm monitoring to make sure that it's done in record time because it's been a very uh, problematic road for us. Unfortunately, we got the assistance of government to get it constructed. Lexin Chedria, who has been appointed by the NDC as one of the spokespersons on sports, discloses why the constituents should vote for him. I think um, the people should give me opportunity to serve and continue doing what I've been doing all my life. You know, I've spent uh, most of my adult life doing a lot of advocacy, debating on issues, fighting for the underprivileged, fighting against injustices. And I don't think there is any bigger platform than the parliament to do that. And that's why I think um, I should be given opportunity to save the people, fight for them to get the opportunities they've been craving for, fight for their share of the national cake when it comes to uh, development type projects across the country. And I think I've done enough in the media fraternity. I've done enough in the public service. I've uh, gathered a lot of work and experiences uh, that are needed uh, to serve this constituency. An independent candidate, legend Derek Obin, is also contesting. For the past 12 years, we voted for our incumbent MP. There isn't a single project that this MP has done for the people of Jamdidi, talking of the rest of the 19 communities around. So we are in, and we are in for change. We are in only to salvage the situation. The two candidates outlined their plans for the constituency when they get the nod. The next phase will be to uh, look at how we can engage the youth, especially in terms of employment. And in Brikum West, we have a major tomato factory that is going to be commissioned very soon by the president. I'm told he's going to be uh, somewhere within the... He's coming for inspection within a month. And uh, commissioning and commencement might start uh, shortly afterwards. It's going to help us to tackle some of the youth employment challenges that we have. So we're doing... All, all fronts are being tackled, and I'm, I'm hopeful that things will get better. If you look at area of sport, Coincidentally, one area I have so much passion and it is an area I've been working over the years uh, to get many of the uh, talents around opportunities to go a notch higher. You know, when you come to the area, nowhere in this region do we have more talent than Brikum area. However, lack of opportunities for them uh, it's what is actually hampering their progress and it is for that reason that I've established a Division 2 club and last year uh, three of my boys got opportunity to the regional and the 15 team and when I became MP I'm looking to go escalate it to a full-blown academy so that after GHS uh, football those who have the talent uh, could go to the academy play football why they pursue their academic course at the same time. From Jine Jine, capital of Brokun West District, I am Michael Saponifu for City News.